Welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Oh, sorry. Got to turn off my CPAP. There, we're a little quieter. Now, at the end of a lot of my videos, I say, you control diabetes. Don't let diabetes control you. And I would love to give the quote of who said this or wrote it or and I haven't been able to find it. <clears throat> so if you know, let me know so I'll be able to give them credit. But what that is really saying is you need to be proactive. It's totally up to you. But being proactive may be in your mind. Everything is set up straight and you're going to learn but it may take a bit and yes you're going to make mistakes don't worry about things we all make mistakes every single day so I had been I don't know diabetic for years and I was at a residential school so, no that's kind of a bad verb now um, I was at a private school where majority of the students stayed for a term and then go went home and then would come back for the next term but while I was there I didn't really have to have a diabetes plan I would the best thing I kind of did was we had this place in the basement of the school called the Ritz and that's where you would go and you would get treats and I would fill up the chocolate bars because in my mind I was going to treat a low if I had it I could really eat them for a low side belt there I would eat them regularly, but, yeah, so. But getting out of school and starting working and you found that you needed to be proactive. I had made up a chart of blood sugars and took it to work with me every day and did a blood sugar but that was really my only sort of plan I had until there was a YouTube video and I can't find a YouTube video anymore of this guy made up these emergency bags for his wife and his wife had one for when they were going on a travel in a nice little first aid kit and then there was one where she would be able to take to work with her every day. And I thought, God, that's wonderful. 
and that's where I kind of click on oh well let's make kind of a chart for me and the doctors and the nurses who took care of me and in this chart I would list all the plans the doctor had said you know if you're sick do this so I had that I had the amount of carbs And the last time I got ill, I thought, oh, well, I better bring this book out. Because I had kind of gone by the wayside. And it was gone. So I'm kind of in the process of redoing that. And that's why I kind of say, come up with a plan. Don't sort of say, oh, yes, I'll remember. Because if you're hypoglycemic, you just really want to leave. <laughs> And lows, you know, you're not going to be able to think. Think of the last time you had a low. Were you able to consciously say, Okay, let's remember what the doctor said. Doesn't work well at all. <laughs> I know. So, come up with a plan and how you'd like to save it that works for you. Now, Part of this also deals with having an emergency bag or something that you can take with you and work well with. You need to be able to treat your diabetes and then just go on your job. Instead of saying, oh, i got to go home, I'm sick. A lot of times, I can remember I was working in a grocery store at the time. And my pump would be pulled out and I didn't have any supplies. Whose fault was it? You know, and it's unfair to say to your employer, Oh, excuse me, I have to go home. So, I really started carrying the supplies with me. And, you know, I had a whole pump change that I do again. I have some insulin in the bag with me. I have needles. And... You know, I've been watching a few videos on YouTube. Sorry, scratching. And, you know, there's these things where it's being stopped by the police and being searched by the police. I've never been searched by the police, but I don't know why this stuck in my mind. And saying, well, oh my God, what's going to happen if they find a syringe? So... I think I'm going to have to get a note from the doctor again. And I've talked about the note in traveling. But not so much just a general note explaining that I have type 1 diabetes. In Canada where I live, down in Vancouver, which on the Vancouver area, we'll just say. You rely on your pharmacy and any sort of pharmacy chain that you could go to and say, hey, I'm out of insulin, can I get some more diabetes supply? Don't just kind of assume that because there'll be some time you're going to run into problems and I can remember going to a scout camp and getting there you know getting the kids all situated it was more a cub camp than a scout camp and all of a sudden realizing I forgot my insulin well 
thank God one of the mothers was still there and ran, ran into town and got me some insulin. But what would have happened if I did have the insulin there or couldn't get the insulin there? I would have had to pack up and go home. So you really have to go through in your mind all the chances of things that could go wrong and be prepared for it. Oh, the plan again. Ooh. It's amazing how everything's mixed together. But get to the plan. Get yourself situated. Make sure, even if you're going just to the grocery store a block away, make sure you have your kit with you. And friends would come and take me places years ago and I'm just talking like we could go out and get out and I'd go and we'd run into problems. I didn't have the bang bag with me. So it got to the point, oh, do you have your bag with you? Oh, it's upstairs. Don't worry about it. They went upstairs, got the bag, and brought it down. So, remember, be proactive. Don't let surprises surprise you. There. You'll enjoy yourself wherever you go so much more. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.